Hey everybody, still on perfect competition. We're doing short run losses. We just shot a video on it. This is kind of 3B, okay? The second part of short run losses. In this video, we're gonna talk about a firm that's shutting down in the short run. The losses are so bad, they're just gonna shut the plant down and how they make that decision. In this situation, they're making losses, but they're gonna go ahead and operate in the short run, okay? So, next thing I want you to kind of see for this video, something that's kind of important to notice here, is I've got one firm, I've got one firm. I don't have a market and then a firm, okay? I'm gonna do a firm, okay, and this firm's shutting down, and then I'm gonna do a firm here, and this firm is operating. So two separate firms, okay? No market graph. Technically, we would not call this a side-by-side -side analysis. It's just basically a video with two graphs in it, okay? So let's get our graph up to date. Remember, I'm looking at the firm. The firm faces a horizontal or perfectly elastic demand curve. MR and the demand curve are the same curve for right now, okay, for perfect competition. We've got an upward sloping MC. The intersection of MC and MR are determining the output level. So we go to that intersection point, we bring it down, Q, profit, max. Now, I'm going to go ahead and extend this guy all the way up because this quantity is so important. I want to have that quantity, that horizontal distance right there so I can see it easily. Now I'm going to bring in our average total cost curve, okay? Average total cost. Downward sloping till I hit MC, and then once I get to MC, bringing it up. What's the dot that's so important? This one. What do kids do, and I do sometimes too? We go and we grab that one. Why? Because that's an intersection point. But that's not what's so important. For showing losses, we want to say, hey, that's the output level. That's how much we're making. And at that output level, this vertical distance, that's the ATC. So I draw this back over, ATC. Remember, this was the price firm. Yes, it was set in a market, but that's not in this video. You know, a market somewhere set that price. That's the price that they have to take. So we've got the price, we've got the ATC, we've got losses. But should this firm operate or should they shut down? This decision, this short run decision, is based on the average variable cost curve. We need to add another curve. It's all about prices relation to average variable cost. Let me show you what the situation would be and why they would shut down. It would be if the AVC was above the price when we crossed that level of output. Now I might have blocked you right there, so let's kind of recap what I did. This blue line is the AVC, okay? If you notice, they are narrowing in. They are supposed to narrow in. Sometimes I don't do a great job of that, but they're supposed to kind of narrow in because the distance, the vertical distance between those is average fixed cost. Remember that as we go on, okay? So what's going on here? We've got AVC, AVC at our level of output is above price. Now for some of us, that's good enough. We can already kind of see, oh wait, okay. If the average variable cost, the cost from production, is above the per unit revenue, that means every time I'm producing a good, on average, I'm losing money. Every time I produce a good, I should shut down. So for some of us, maybe that's all you need. Maybe you just got it, great. For me, it took a little bit more work, so I'm going to explain this a little bit deeper to make sure that we've got this, all right? So, let me show you the losses, once again, from operation first, okay? The op losses from operation. If we operate, we will produce this amount, price times quantity, that box right there, total revenue, ATC times quantity, okay? ATC times the quantity, that box, total cost. So our losses, if we operate, okay, are gonna be, try to not step in front of you, they're gonna be that big rectangle, okay? From ATC to price over the quantity. Those will be our losses if we operate. However, if we shut down, we won't incur any average variable cost. We won't incur any variable cost, okay? However, we well incurred the fixed cost, and we can find the fixed cost on this graph. ATC minus AVC is AFC, right? ATC minus AVC is AFC, is average fixed cost. 
So that vertical distance right there is average fixed cost. You take the average fixed cost times the quantity, and what do you have? You have fixed cost. Let me go ahead and mark that, okay? This rectangle are the losses that you will incur if you shut down. For sure, you will incur those. Remember, fixed costs are cost even if we shut down. They're sunk costs. We've already incurred them. You're going to incur those losses, but you've got a question to make. You've got a decision to make, really. Not a question to make. You've got a decision to make. Should I operate? Should I not operate? If I operate, this rectangle is going to be my losses if I operate. If I shut down, fixed cost equals that rectangle right there. Well, what should you do? You should minimize your losses. So how much should you produce? Zero. Incur your fixed costs, but don't add any more losses. If you operate, you won't just incur this, you'll incur additional losses. Why will you incur, addition, incur additional losses? Because your ABC is above your price. Let's go to this graph real quick. Operating in the short run, a situation that the firm actually would operate in the short run. Once again, we've got price firm. That is our demand curve. That is our marginal revenue curve. We go ahead and put the MC in. So there's our MC. This repetition, I think, is important that we get it down. At this point, I got my MC. I got my MR. If I have my MC and MR, I've got my output. I know how much they're producing. There's my Q profit max. By the way, it's also Q loss min, which is kind of important in this video, right? That's my Q loss min if I operate. Now I want to put in my ATC curve. We're incurring losses, okay? We're going to operate in the short run, but we're still incurring losses. So ATC keeps going down until I hit MC, bring ATC up, grab that dot. I've lost my color coding, which is a problem, but I think we're okay. That's the ATC line. At this level of output, ATC right there, ATC. Those would be my losses if I operate right there. ATC minus price, those are my losses per unit I produced, times my quantity. So this rectangle, losses if I operate. Well, are those my minimum losses? Is that the, my minimum loss I could have? Well, to, make, to understand that, we need to bring in the ABC. Because we got an option. We could just shut this thing down, not operate at all. But if we shut down, what would be our losses? When I draw in the ABC curve, okay, which I guess I'm going to also make blue, I'm going to bring it down, hit the MC, then I'm going to bring it up, AVC. The important thing to note is at that quantity, this vertical distance, AVC. You guys, let's get real. This video is a little long. It's one of those videos you might want to break up. You might want to go back and look at again. This is a tough concept, but an important concept. You get this important this concept, you're going to get some of those really hard questions on the test, okay? You get this one down, it's important. I know it's long, but if you just take your time, you can get this down. We're almost there. Take a look at this. Price above ABC. Right there, just that. Our price, our per unit revenue, is greater than our average variable cost. If your per unit revenue is greater than your average variable cost, that should scream, hey, we should operate. We're going to do better by operating than by not operating. Because if we shut down, what will be our losses? We will incur the fixed cost if we shut down. ATC minus AVC is AFC. This vertical distance is AFC. AFC, average fixed cost, times Q, times Q gives us fixed cost. Let me go ahead and put that blue rectangle in. That blue rectangle is our fixed cost, is our sunk cost. If we shut down, we're incurring this blue rectangle. But if we operate, our losses will be a little bit less. Okay, they will just be that rectangle. What should we do? We should minimize our losses, so we should operate. And it just makes sense. The amount that price is above ABC is the amount we're doing better. That per unit revenue above average variable cost, operate in the short run. Sure, we're probably going to shut down in the long run, but in the short run, operate and minimize your losses. That's what we see in this graph. In this graph, shut it down, okay? You're better off shutting down. Don't operate. You're just adding more losses when you operate. Why? price below ABC. Once again, that's a long video. 
but one worth kind of listening to completely. You get that one down and you are a long way towards getting theory of the firm. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.